A very good afternoon to one and all. Myself, Faiza Begum of BSc First Year MPCS. Today we are going to deal the topic about the stress management. Stress management is a overwhelming feeling which you get due to a lot of reasons. Some as like uh, due to emotional pressure, like work responsibilities, studies, financial worries, uh, or uh, any life's other demands. So. Stress. Nowadays, uh, people get stressed uh, due to uh, due to many reasons, as I mentioned earlier, like responsibilities, and the same reason might not be there for others also. Because you may get stressed by some or the other reason, the some uh, the other person will get stressed due to uh, due to like uh, deadlines uh, and uh, has uh, there is no proper. Uh, there has there is no proper uh, these things they get they may get stress. So managing stress is very important in our life. So managing stresses uh, includes that uh, includes many things. And you can mention one thing that managing stress is also not same for all. You may uh, you may feel out of stress for one reason. The other may feel for other reason to get stress out. Now. So first you need to know one thing is what makes you stress. So if you know what makes you stress, it is very easy to come out of it. So first you should know what makes you stress and how you can come out of it and what, uh, what were your thinkings at that time and where it took place, such reasons you need to know. So if you, if you are knowing what exactly makes a stress to you, so it is very easy to come out of it. So some of the here are the tips that makes you to come out of the stress is one is exercising. When you exercise like playing or running or when you involve in some uh, sports and when you engage with sort of work that you like. So this causes you to come out of the stress. And some of the reasons, some of the common reasons to come of the stress is connecting with the loved ones. In the sense, when you talk too much like me, when I talk too much, I'll get out of, out of stress. I like talking. So this is the most common, uh, like in me it is the most common, like it is the most... Uh, used reason i can say so when you connect with the loved ones when you talk with the uh, parents not only with the parents but you talk with friends so you may feel that you are out of the stress and relaxing yeah this is the most this thing i can say eight hours of sleep when you relax for eight hours or for uh, two or three hours you will refresh your day with a uh, boost up energy so this makes you that to come out of the stress and meditation like doing uh, breathing exercises pranayama so uh, this may also help you to get out of the your stress and some of the reasons also i can say that you that cause you stress is that uh, uh, time management when you uh, manage your time then automatically there will be no stress you can feel so when you do your up and downs when you have a uh, up and downs in your time management automatically stress comes in your life so I can say that one thing that you should reframe your situation. When a situation causes you stress, you should reframe it. I mean to say, you should see the position in a positive perspective. Rather than seeing in a negative perspective, you should uh, think over of it and you should take it as an opportunity that, okay, this situation makes me to feel what is confident. Like you can know your confidence in the sense, uh, you should come off your stress uh, in making you feel in a, uh, like, Thinking in a positive way, like uh, yeah, uh, when this situations comes in your life, uh, uh, you should uh, you should react in a positive way. And uh, for some example, you may feel very stressed in traffic time, right? So in traffic time, you can also manage your stress like uh, going in other way, like uh, rather than being in that place, and you can move to other way. And when you feel like in your environment, you are causing a stress, just move out of it. These are the simple reasons that you can uh, manage your stress. So uh, something I can say that practice your gratitude. Instead of uh, uh, showing negative perspectives according to the situation, you can change your gratitude. Like when you cause it, when you, when a situation causes your stress, look at it in a positive perspectives. So thus you can see a positive in a stress also. So these are the uh, these are the some of the reasons that may cause you stress and some of the. Um, some of the tips that you can easily come out of the stress. And again, I'm mentioning that one reason can, may not valid for individual. For every individual, different reasons might be there to come off the stress. First, try to know what, what caused your stress and then uh, list out the things which make 
uh, helps you to come out of it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Feedback, teachers? Yeah. First of all, uh, I would like to tell you about the pronunciation. It is not stress, it is stress. Right? We are all the time pronouncing it as stress, stress, stress. It is stress. Right? So please, students, one thing I would suggest to you, you all have smartphones. Uh, look at uh, the pronunciations. Even I do. Like Because we are Indians, yes, we are prone to uh, make a lot of errors with our pronunciation because our mother tongue comes in between. But uh, please uh, look at the words which are a little difficult. Go into the app which tells you how to pronounce. They, they also give you uh, in English uh, the symbols how to really pronounce the word. So I think first day, that is from my end, I would like to tell you you're good, but stress and then time management. Anita, ma'am? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh... You did a fantastic job. It was a very, uh, what do you call, uh, concise presentation. Uh, uh, like ma'am said, see, we do tend to make mistakes because English is a foreign language for us. We all make mistakes. So the best thing, like I told Ajmal is, read aloud. Read aloud is what, when you read something aloud, you know, keep, uh, you improve your pronunciation and you improve the pause, the, you know, the, the pace at which you read and uh, what you call your fluency in the language. So these six days, we are going to just concentrate on that because we have all finished the syllabus and that we want you to just pick up something, a poem, something from the text or something from the newspaper and just read aloud so that, you know, you will uh, improve your pronunciation and your fluency in the language. All right. And you can also do that apart from the student seminar. Every day you can just uh, uh, sit uh, in front of the mirror and then just read. That is the best way to practice reading aloud. It will improve your fluency and your pronunciation, your pause, which is very important. How you break the, you know, your sentences while you're speaking, that, that's very, very important for comprehension. So apart from that, you have done very well, very, very nicely done, Faiza. So next time again, practice and also make another presentation before seven so that, you know, we, you can see the improvement. Okay. Thank you, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Well done, Faiza. But uh, it shows that you are good with uh, impromptu things, but then the thought process somewhere is not organized. You present it, again you went back to some missed points, again you started from there. So there were links which were missing and time and again you were going back to that point. So have it organized in your mind. One introduction, body and final conclusion. Okay? And your point of view. What is your point of view? Right? You can also have, you can have a, pa a small paper with important points, so you know you know you can look down at the important points so that you are not repeating it again and again. Okay, so introduction, a body, and a conclusion. That's how it should be. Like how you write. Okay, the speech. Otherwise, also. Sure. otherwise you are very good with your language and all. Little improvements. Well done, Faiza. Thank you, ma'am.